for today's lesson, we're going to study order of operations or also known as MDAS rule. In solving equations involving mixed operations, there are rules to follow. These are called rules for order of operations also known as MDAS rule. So what do we mean by MDAS? So M stands for multiplication, D stands for division, A for addition, and S for subtraction. So this is the first rule. If addition and subtraction are used in a row, we follow the order of operations from left to right. Again, children, if addition and subtraction are used in a row, we follow the order of operations from left to right. So let's have the examples. 65 plus 15 minus 20 equals blank. So as you can see here, the addition comes first. So we are going to add this two number first before we subtract. So let's have this. 65 plus 15, that is equal to what? Very good, that is 75. So 75 minus 20, that is equal to what? Good job, that is 55. So let's have another example. How about if I have this? 90 minus 50 plus 34. So as you can see from the left, we have the subtraction first. So we are going to subtract first. So we have this one. 90 minus 50, that is equal to what? Very good, that is 40. Then we are going to add 40 and 34. So 40 plus 34, that is equal to, good job, that is 74. So 90 minus 50 plus 34 is equal to 74. Always remember, if addition and subtraction are used in a row, we follow the order of operations from left to right. Is that clear? Let's have the second rule. If multiplication and division are used in a row, we follow the order of operations from left to right. So we are going to use again the left to right, okay? So again, if multiplication and division are used in a row, we follow the order of operations from left to right. So let's have an example. 6 times 5 divided by 3. As you can see, children, from the left, we have the multiplication first. So we are going to multiply first. So we have 6 times 5 divided by 3. So 6 times 5, that is equal to 30, right? Then we are going to divide it by 3. So let's divide 30 divided by 3. That is equal to what? Very good, that is 10. So 6 times 5 divided by 3 is equal to 10. Let's have another example. What if I have 35 divided by 5 times 4? So as you can see from the left, we have division first. So we are going to divide first. So 35 divided by 5, that is equal to what? Very good, that is 7. Then we are going to multiply it to 4. 7 times 4, that is equal to what? Good job, that is 28. So the answer is 28. We have 35 divided by 5 times 4 is equal to 28. So now let's proceed to the third rule. If the expression has three or more operations, first do the multiplication or division in order from left to right, then do addition or subtraction in order from left to right. So let's have this one. 30 divided by 2 times 5 plus 10 minus 3. So look at the operation or look at the equation, children. Find the division and multiplication. Which comes first? Is it multiplication or division? Very good. The first one is division from the left. So we are going to divide first 30 and 2 before we multiply. So let's divide 30 and 2. 30 divided by 2, that is equal to what? 
Very good. That is 15. So we have now this equation. What are we going to do next? Very good. We are going to multiply. 15 times 5, that is equal to what? Good job, children. That is 75. So after the division and multiplication, we are going to do now addition or subtraction. So which comes first? Is it addition or subtraction? Very good. That is addition from the left. Remember, ha? we're going to start from left to right. So 75 plus 10, that is equal to what? Very good. That is 85. So now we can now subtract. 85 minus 3, that is equal to what? Very good. That is 82. So 30 divided by 2 times 5 plus 10 minus 3 is equal to 82. Let's have another example. 24 times 8 divided by 6 minus 15 plus 12. So look at the multiplication and division, children. Which comes first? Very good. From the left, we have the multiplication first. So we are going to multiply. So 24 times 8, that is equal to what? Good job. That is 192. Then after multiply, we are going to... Good job. That is divide. So 192 divided by 6, that is equal to what? Very good, children. That is 32. So after division and multiplication, what are we going to do next? Is it addition or subtraction? Remember the rule from left to right. Very good. So we are going to subtract first. Why? Because from the left, we have subtraction first before the addition. So 32 minus 15, that is equal to what? Good job! That is 17. So we can now add 17 and 12. 17 plus 12. Very good children! That is 29. So 24 times 8 divided by 6 minus 15 plus 12 is equal to 29. How about if we have this? 56 plus 45 divided by 3 times 8 minus 50. So again, children, find first the multiplication and division. Which comes first from the left? Is it multiplication or division? Very good. Division first. So we are going to divide first. 45 divided by 3, that is equal to what? That is 15. So we have now 56 plus 15 times 8 minus 50. So, after division, let's have multiplication. Let's multiply 15 and 8. 15 times 8, that is equal to what? Good job! That is 120. So, after multiplication and division, let's have now the addition and subtraction. So, from the left, which comes first? Is it addition or subtraction? That's correct. We have the addition first. So, 56 plus 120, that is 176. Then, let's subtract it to 50. 176 minus 50, that is equal to what? Good job, children. That is 126. So, 56 plus 45 divided by 3 times 8 minus 50 is equal to 126. Is that clear? Let's have our last example. 75 minus 8 times 6 divided by 4 plus 44. So, look at the multiplication and division. Which comes first from the left? Is it multiplication or division? Very good. From the left, we have the multiplication first. So, we are going to multiply 8 and 6. 8 times 6, children, that is? Very good. That is 48. So, we have now 75 minus 48 divided by 4 plus 44. So, let's divide now. 48 divided by 4. That is? 
Very good, children. That is 12. So we have 75 minus 12 plus 44. So we are now going to add or subtract. So from the left, which comes first? Is it addition or subtraction? Very good. Subtraction first. So let's subtract 75 minus 12. That is equal to? Very good, children. That is 63. So we can now add 63 and 44. So 63 plus 44, that is equal to what? Good job. That is 107. So 75 minus 8 times 6 divided by 4 plus 44 is equal to 107. So always remember, children, the first rule, if addition and subtraction are used in a row, we follow the order of operations from left to right. Our second rule, if multiplication and division are used in a row, we follow the order of operations from left to right. And lastly, if the expression has three or more operations, first do the multiplication or division in order from left to right, then do addition or subtraction in order from left to right.